Today's top story takes us to Venezuela, where the foreign minister, Delcy Rodriguez, called on the Colombian government to assume a greater role in the irregular situation of food and gasoline smuggling from Venezuela into Colombia. The Venezuelan foreign minister said that the closure of the two border crossing points is beneficial to making the point of respect of human rights in both countries. Rodriguez is scheduled to meet her Colombian counterpart, Maria Angela Hulguin, this morning to discuss the closing of the border, Colombian paramilitaries and other bilateral issues. We expect that during our meeting a more precise evaluation will be made by the Colombian authorities regarding how they will resolve the border issues which are now beyond the control of authorities. Still in Venezuela, the president, Nicolas Maduro, has proposed the creation of a political movement for peace that would include Colombian migrants living in the country. He also warned Colombian President Juan Manuel Santos that he was being deceived by the Colombian oligarchy with lies about Venezuela. This comes after Santos demanded a fair treatment of all Colombians in Venezuela. Maduro also uh, spoke of the, of the government's effort to protect Venezuela from paramilitary attacks and smuggling across the border. We are protecting our country from the attacks of capitalist paramilitaries linked to Colombia's right wing. That's why they are irritated, because we have blocked one of the places to which they were causing the greatest harm to Venezuela in this war. I will continue ahead and I hope the Colombian government tunes into this fight against criminal economy. And Maduro also warned former uh, Colombian President Alvaro Uribe against continued actions against Venezuela, saying his government would respond if forced to do so. After a week or so of exposing videos that confirm involvement by Uribe and the United States in plots to destabilize Venezuela, Maduro also said that another high-profile assassination had been foiled. We are protecting our country from the attacks of capitalist paramilitaries linked to Colombia's right wing. That's why they are irritated because we have blocked one of the places to which they were causing the greatest harm to Venezuela in this war. I will continue ahead, and I hope the Colombian government tunes into this fight against criminal economy.